Ready. We will fight to have our voices heard. Warriors, take your positions and decide on the order of battle. We come not to debate what brings our challengers here, nor what will become of the defeated duelists. Duelists, the might of Hermann Nubis himself is at stake here. Now, fight. Fight until the rightful victor is proclaimed! Huh? Are you sure? I agree. He's very strong. Sending him out first will definitely intimidate the opposing side. Okay, then you're second. Sure. We have decided. So have we. Let's begin. Duelists of the first bout, please step forward. with them or Paimon will make you regret it. A little bit too much chatter from the audience over there. Hey! Scatter! A swift end to the first bout. I now invite the duelists of the second bout to please step forward. When you're both ready, you may begin. Let's begin. Watch out! Go, Kenai, go! He drank plenty of water before the bout, so he should be fine. Thus ends the second bout. We will now move to the third bout. Duelists, please step forward. I'm ready. So am I. This is the final stage of the right. I remind you both that the terms you agreed upon in advance are binding. When you're both ready, you may begin! I am Sethos, vessel of Hermon Ubis, grandson of Bamun, the leader of the Temple of Silence. For many years, we have kept our covenant with Lord Hermon Ubis by guarding the secrets of King Deshret. And even in our darkest hour, when we could not see a way forward, we chose not to abandon hope, but to embark on a brave new experiment so that we might prevail. 
We earnestly sought Lord Hermanubis' wisdom and power, longing to see his spirit and his light descend upon us. Now, I will fight to become the rightful wielder of that power! I am Sino, General Mahamatra of the Academia, student and successor of Cyrus, the Sage of Spantama. I fight in defense of my power, my professor, and my nation. And you, I think you left some things unsaid. This is a sacred duel, and Hermanubis is watching. So bear your soul. <laughs> Everyone, old and young, fit and frail, they're all waiting to see how this duel will end. My grandfather is a wise leader. He is also known to be a ruler who is not afraid to get blood on his hands. I understand his beliefs well, and I know what he expects of me. But our faith has held us back for too long. After I grew up, I went to the rainforest once, and I saw for myself the people of the city. Times have changed. The people of Sumeru are happier and more free now than in the past. I thought about this as I stood at one of the tallest points in the city, gazing down at the streets below. Then I thought of you, Sino. You and I both wield the same power, yet the lives we lead could not be more different. Each Ba fragment of Hermanubis stands for something different. Might, glory, and one of many other secrets that have yet to be revealed. I once thought that the nature of our fragments must be what makes us so different from one another. But, Maybe. It's that you've found your answer. And I am still searching for mine. I am more than just a warrior. I am my own person. Exactly. <sighs> the name Hermanubis has left its mark on both of us. Shaped the course of our lives. We are his vessels, and yet we are more besides. So show me your answer, Sino. Show me I can be more than my faith, more than the power I wield. Show me the person I can become! Bring it on! You've got what happened is searching for your answer. It's over. Do you yield? 
You won. Well then, looks like you found your answer. I give his glory to you. <sighs> I've seen that light. That is the light of our Lord, the great Hermanubis. Priest over all other priests. His spirit dwells within that lightning, and his will lives on. Once a warrior of Tynar, he emerged from the barren desert sands to serve the god king Al Ahmar. After the death of the god king, Hermanubis gathered his followers and the Tynarian priests and led them to the city of Tule Tula. There, they founded the Temple of Silence. And from that day forth, we became stewards of all knowledge that survived from King Deshret's civilization. Barely a century passed before war ravaged the desert. One by one, Aramite leaders took up arms against each other in battles that would devour what little remained of their civilization. Only the wise city of Tule Tula was spared under the guiding hand of the Tynarians. But peace did not last. Coveting the knowledge of King Deshret, the beasts set their eyes on Tule Tula. The king of Gurabad laid siege to the city and ordered the sages to surrender to him the Temple of Silence as proof of his victory. The ruling elite colluded with their oppressors, betraying the temple so as to hold on to their rule over the city. They declared that the knowledge guarded by the temple was the true cause of corruption. These were dark days, and we faced enemies on all sides. Our Lord had long since exhausted his strength keeping the forbidden knowledge introduced by King Deshret at bay. To ensure the temple's continued survival, he broke his being into many pieces and began the ceremony of Hermanubis' legacy, bestowing his power upon his mortal followers. With this power, the temple was able to defeat the tyrant's army. Yet, we were not hailed as heroes. Strange and unfamiliar as this power was, it struck fear into the people's hearts and drove them to reject us. In the end, the people of the temple and the Tule Tula Tynarians left the city for good and made their way to the rainforest. What followed next was inevitable. The elite of Tule Tula fell and were decimated. War engulfed the desert. And we wandered from place to place, always in hiding, all the while keeping close watch over our secrets and staying true to our mission. Betrayal forced us out of the desert and into the forest. Then mistrust drove us from the forest into the desert once more. We have lived in exile for far, far too long. Yet today, the Temple of Silence has borne witness to the glory of Hermanubis once more. Thank you.
is it? Do you feel okay? Hmm. <sighs> 